When we think about bass feeding up or feeding down, often the very first thing that comes to mind is barometric pressure. And where we kind of get misled or misguided here is we often think about the pressure actually impacting the fish more than the environment and the situation around them. An article in In Fisherman Magazine entitled Barometric Pressure and Bass by Ralph Manns really goes into this topic in detail. And this is what really stood out to me right here. A fish with a gas bladder needs only to swim up or down a foot or two to experience as great or greater a pressure change than that created by all but the largest natural pressure changes like typhoons and hurricanes. So what the article is saying is that bass create a natural pressure change on themselves by going up or down more than anything they will experience by barometric pressure. But as anglers, we know that the bite changes or situation changes when that barometer changes. So how does this affect us and how do we need to really think about this? Well, as far as the feeding up or down, a, a great guide, bass guide from uh, Central Tennessee, Jim Duckworth taught me years ago, he likes to keep things as simple as possible. And he always refers to the microorganisms or the, the zooplankton. And they are so small and so tiny that a barometric change can push them lower in the water column, or when that pressure is lower, they are more apt to move up off the bottom. And I've noticed the same type of thing when I'm filming underwater with particles that are suspended or not suspended. So this particular area right here is a bunch of rocks put in by a boat ramp, and I filmed it on a sunny day, and I've also filmed it on cloudy days and if you notice here that on the cloudy day is that the water is a little bit muddier a little bit dirtier but on a clear day we can see these small particles a little bit better but there's not as many of them and the water is clearly clearer or easier to see a distance well later on in the article ralph goes on to say this according to the studies the maximum brightness of clear skies which creates optimum feeding opportunities for plankton eating prey likely encourages maximum prey fish activity, which in turn may stimulate increased predation. So here we're talking about predators more likely to feed on those really clear type of days, those maximum sunlit days, but it's because the prey fish that they're feeding on can see those small microorganisms easier and that kind of gets things going. A very interesting take. But as far as feeding up or feeding down, when this is going on, it's more likely to be down in the water column because of that higher pressure situation. Well, the overcast days are just the opposite. Those small microorganisms are more likely to pull up off of the bottom and therefore that feeding activity could be up higher in the water column which is often why we like to use moving baits and cover a lot of water on overcast days it's like i talk about all the time here on the channel is we always want to put ourselves in the best position to be successful so if that barometric pressure is low and those skies are overcast often the best thing that we can do is fish horizontally cover water and be searching multiple parts of the water column from the top to those mid depths. Is there still going to be fish on the bottom? Absolutely there is, but the vast majority of them are probably going to be out and away from cover and roaming around a little bit more. Well, the opposite is true on those high pressure days. Can we still catch them on top water? Absolutely we can. Can we still catch them swimming finesse lures? We definitely can in the mid parts of the water column but I'm going to focus on bottom bouncing lures or the bottom part of that water column because those microorganisms are more likely to be pushed down on those high pressure days. And one thing that we can do is focus on our lures on the vertical drop and it can tell us which part of the water column the bass prefer. Well, if you want to watch a video that talks about triggering strikes on the drop, go ahead and watch this one right here. And make sure that you go in and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.